San Jose Public Library System continues to expand and keep up with modernization. The newest example was the reopening of the Santa Teresa branch, the southernmost library of the city of San Jose. The project began back in March of the year 2008. It's it was a very popular branch when we uh, decided to even rebuild. So we know that it's going to have heavy foot traffic, a lot of people in the, uh, the branches, young families as well as seniors and teens and uh, a, a lot of the 20-somethings are going to love this branch because of the interior, the way it's designed, a real social hotspot. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody. This is a great new library. We tore down the old one. It took a while to get it rebuilt, but now we have a fantastic new library. It's open to the public, free of charge to everybody in our community. It's a really important asset to us so that our kids can read books, they can do better in school, and our adults can continue their education because you should never stop learning. It's really important to have these facilities for our community, so it's a great day when you can open a new library. Santa Teresa Library was opened in 1984, and it was about uh, one-third the size of this library. And the community grew and the need grew, so that's why we have this 22,000 square foot new library uh, supported by the voters with a library bond project. And uh, we're really excited about having the library. We need to keep the books uh, flowing into the library, the staff, the hours open. And uh, we'll do our best in the state legislature to make sure that happens. San Jose Public Libraries are green libraries. The new Santa Teresa building is no exception. Well, I'm the project, project manager for Public Works, okay. um, but not for this facility. But I'm, I'm involved in all the various um, libraries, in all the new libraries. This, this project was uh, met the lead uh, requirements, which means like natural daylight, um, the use of uh, sensors in the light fixtures, the use of recycled materials uh, for the flooring, the carpet, and, and all the, the cabinetry, so all that uses recycled materials. The Buildings. new standards for the city of San Jose that we have to meet the, the minimum of a silver requirement, silver level requirements. The Santa Teresa branch features public art from renowned French artist Beatrice Coron, who lives in New York City. Of the orchards. So I wanted the growth of San Jose with the history. So in the metal, um, I made a biblio tree and I also made the walks of the fruits of knowledge to have all piece of uh, literature and movies and music that has a fruit in it. Material that's available through the library. So if people walk on this orchard walk and begin to see like the old tomato of Pablo Neruda, then maybe they want to read it. And here it's a tree of knowledge. So in the center it's the acorn, so that's uh, native to San Jose and that's the culture of uh, the Olony Indians around it. And then it's the food they were brought by the Europeans and that made the ranch and the orchard industry. And then after, it's the fruits that were brought from around the world, from Africa, from Asia, and that's the growth of San Jose today as an international city. And it's, it's still growing, so it's like a cut section of the history. The library also receives the support of private uh, donations. And the donations go for furnishings, collection, DVDs, uh, technology, anything that's not nailed down. Because the bond that was passed in the year 2000 pays for the construction of the building. Um, and only permanent things. You can't pay for anything. It literally is not nailed down. Um, so that's where the foundation steps in to help fill that gap. The new facility, compared to the old one, has more than twice the number of computers, 28, three times the number of seats, 170, and new storytelling, group and study areas that the original branch did not even have. Mm -hmm.